like an ida I've been trying to call up Lucy, return my pride uh. Now she's screaming bloody murder, I've been a fine Don't be throwing up to stop, this is Anguinida I would describe it as a mesh of things that probably don't belong together Like an ice cream sundae with like fucking ketchup or Something that doesn't make sense, but some people kind of find pleasurable. Because I feel like I draw a lot of influence from, you know, whether it's R&B and a lot of diva singers that I grew up listening to, but I also love hip hop and the production of like Kanye and Flying Lotus and Thundercat and all those people. So it's definitely a weird mix. On, uh, honestly, the thing I want people to take most from this song is just just like enjoy your time, I think. This song is not, it's not that serious. It definitely came from a place of trying to heal and trying to move past a certain time in my life. But I think the point of it is just to like, to move to it and enjoy it and realize that none of us have time. So just rock with it, you know? I feel like YouTube specifically has been important for me because I'm such a visual person and I think before I even write a song sometimes, I can see songs, so being able to have that outlet and just creating visuals to give people a glimpse of what I'm actually seeing in my head, that's been invaluable to me and I just love making visuals so much, so um, I'm just grateful that I live in an era where I can take something in my head, make it real and share it with whoever I want to share it with. Hmm. My mom used to tell me that I would sing before I could talk, so I don't remember that. But what I can recall is, I remember I was four, I was at my grandma's house, and this is back when my dad still lived with me, and he also loved music, so he showed me a video of Whitney Houston singing the anthem at the 1994 Super Bowl, actually. And if you've ever seen that video, if you haven't seen that video, go watch it now. It's insane. That woman was incredible. And I remember being, I was literally four years old and I remember thinking, wow, that's fucking sick. Like, I want to do that at some point. Um, and yeah, I think I honestly just, just never forgot that. That really made an impact on me as a kid. I would love to work with Flying Lotus just because I love how he uses voices as textures. And that, I think that would be a really humbling experience to just be like another instrument, you know, in a track rather than like the main focus or like, listen to me, I'm singing. The way he uses voices as textures and not necessarily the forefront is really sick to me. So that'd be a dream. I'd like my legacy to be, honestly, I'm not, I'm like I'm not arrogant enough to think I feel that that anyone's gonna remember me in like thousands of years but and I, I definitely live that way and I I enjoy that thought that like nothing I do actually matters in the long long run of things but for the time being I would love to push um, just creativity being the forefront of what I do and being respected for your mind rather than the way that you look or, you know, like the clothes that you wear necessarily, but just like the freedom of expression, that's really important to me. And I look up to, you know, women and anyone who follows that first and puts that first. So being an artist who makes that the norm, makes that the mainstream, I would love to be a part of that. And I think that that's not just gonna be me, that's gonna be like, like a class of artists who are pushing that forward and just to be a small part of that would be incredible. Um, the rest of the year is just, it's weird cause I wrote this music so long ago and now I'm spending six months just roll it out. It's just, it's crazy. It's like, I feel like I've changed so much and grown so much since then. But yeah, for the rest of the year, I'm just making videos for the songs I wrote maybe two years ago and putting it out and sharing it with the world for pretty much the first time. And that feels really, um, it feels really exhilarating. It feels kind of weird. I feel really naked in a weird way. Like just my, basically my journals 
or being exposed and but I'm doing it it's all self-inflicted so uh yeah I'm pumped I'm really pumped for the rest of the year so